Libby and Dolivera pile on the runs on day one. Glamorgan and Worcestershire came face to face, having experienced contrasting round one Bob Willis trophy fortunes. Glamorgan taken apart at Taunton, Worcester getting the better of Gloucestershire. But here the visitors made the early headway. A wicket in the first over, Darrell Mitchell gone for a duck, caught down the leg side off the bowling of Michael Hogan. Tom Fell was next, well, to fall. Hogan again the man to inflict the damage, ably assisted by Chris Cook. Jake Libby was holding steady at the crease though, and alongside Jack Haynes, they began to make inroads. Haynes was aggressor in chief, as the pair pushed Worcester past 50 and looked well set. But Hogan was in the groove in the morning session, and back for his second spell, he surprised Haynes with a short one, caught in the deep by Dan Douthwaite. Lunch made a little less sweet for the pairs at 70 for three. Libby was quickly back to his work after the break and brought up his 50 with his seventh boundary as his side pushed on towards 100. But he wasn't carrying the Worcester innings alone. Brett D'Oliveira took to the Glamorgan attack with relish. This one of eight fours he struck en route to his 50 from just 78 balls. And the pair continued to stay on top of the bowling to make serene progress through the afternoon session, with Libby closing in on three figures as T approached. And he reached his milestone in what would prove to be a tough evening session for the Glamorgan bowlers, as Libby and Dolivera put the opposition to the sword. The pair hit the Glamorgan attack to all parts of the ground in a clinical display. Dolivera also reached his ton as Glamorgan wilted in the late afternoon sun. As the close approached, the partnership passed 200, setting a new fourth wicket record against Glamorgan in the process. The hosts closed the day out on 309 for three and in complete control of the game.